We've talked a lot about different ways of softening light, and I'd like to put it all together by demonstrating four common techniques that you can use to control the hardness or the softness of light on your subject and how that appears on camera. Well, for my demo, I set up a small specular light source to produce the harshest shadows possible. So I used a Nanlite Forza 60 without any diffusion, no lenses, nothing. And I focused that light directly onto Jeremy. So notice in the shot just how harsh the wraparound is. That is the transition from the light to the shadowy parts on his face. It's very defined, mostly because from Jeremy's perspective, the light generating area is really, really tiny. So using a small direct light source is going to produce harsh shadows, and it's gonna bring out the details and the contours of your subject's face. Next, we put on a 36 inch softbox onto the very same light fixture. And since the diffusion material becomes the light source, we drastically increased the light generating area from the last shot. Now, even though I positioned the light in exactly the same place, from Jeremy's perspective, the light generating area is now much larger and the result is a much softer light with a much softer wraparound. Well, I'll use this setup if I were shooting, say, a dramatic interview, or I was shooting a scene that requires a high key, but high contrast look. For my next demo, I replaced that smaller 36 inch softbox with a larger 48 inch softbox, which makes an even larger light generating area. Well, this softbox is also reducing the overall brightness of the light just because of how big it is. So in order for us to keep the same exposure and the same light output, I replaced the Nanolite Forza 60 with a heftier Forza 500. And with this added light output, I could then increase the size of the light source and still maintain the same exposure on Jeremy. So notice now with this lighting setup, just how incredibly soft the wraparound is on his face, especially when we compare this with my previous shot. Well, both shots have a soft wraparound, but the larger soft box in the right shot softens his skin by filling in the very shadows it creates. Now, some of the most pleasing light is doubly diffused, which means that we're focusing our light source through two different types of diffusion. So for this demo, I decided to keep that 48 inch soft box, which is already beautifully softening the light. But then in addition, I set up a six by six frame of grid cloth in front of it. Well, since the soft box is spreading out the light across the entire six by six, we now have a beautiful 36 square foot light source. And it's creating a very natural soft light with a very, very soft wraparound. Now, the only drawback to this particular setup is that like most soft light sources, the light's pretty sloppy and it's spilling all over the set. So if I wanna darken the background, I'm going to have to add some flags or floppies to block the light to maintain my contrast between Jeremy and the background. All right, guys, there you have it. A few techniques to help you improve your film skills. Now, if you really want to improve the quality of your productions, I'll take you much deeper into the entire filmmaking process in the paid course at Film Skills Unlimited, where I partnered with Aerie, Audio-Technica, Panavision, Matthew Studio Equipment, Ledgo, and Kinoflow to produce an online training curriculum so complete that over 115 film schools, universities, and film commissions use my program. Plus, I sat down with over 70 Academy Award and Emmy-winning filmmakers who reveal the techniques they use to produce the biggest TV shows and movies ever made. So join over 20,000 filmmakers and learn how to write better screenplays, become a more effective director on set, master advanced cinematography techniques, unlock the full capabilities of your camera and lens, improve your shots with Hollywood lighting techniques, learn how to record audio, design sets, edit, and much more. And as a special bonus, I've also negotiated special discounts on software and gear just for Film Skills members. And as a member, you also have exclusive access to hundreds of projects and exercises to practice and hone your skills. Plus, nearly 2,000 pages of my illustrated companion guides, personal mentoring, job shadows, and much more. So check out filmskills.com for more information. And by the way, you're also invited to join my free one hour filmmaking course, where I share my top 10 secrets to achieving a professional look that helped me grow a career shooting in over 35 countries for top studios and brands. So check out the link below to register for my free one hour filmmaking course and learn how to become a better filmmaker at Film Skills, the online film school built by filmmakers 
for filmmakers. <laughs>